Hey everyone, I'm Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and today I've got your first look at the Motorola Droid 2 Global. This is a lot like the Droid 2, which was released in mid-August, but as you might have guessed from the name, this is a world phone. The Droid 2 uses dual-mode technology, so when you're using the phone in the States, it will operate on Verizon's network, like usual. But when you travel overseas, it will detect and automatically switch over to the GSM network, so you can continue to make and receive calls using the same number. Verizon ships the phone with a SIM card, but they will unlock it as long as you've been a customer for at least 60 days and are in good financial standing, so you can swap it out for, say, a prepaid SIM you buy overseas. There are also some other great features for business users. Uh, the Droid 2 runs Android 2.2 and can be used as a mobile hotspot for up to five devices. The smartphone also ships with a VPN client and the quick office suite so you can create, view, and edit office documents. And of course, you can hook up your exchange account and sync your calendar and contacts. There's some fun to be had too. The music player is the stock Android player, which isn't very sexy, but it gets the job done. Uh, the Droid 2 features a slightly more powerful 1.2 GHz processor, which kept the phone running smoothly. My only concern is battery life. Uh, with moderate use, it lasted about a day, but if you're using the multimedia features or web frequently, the battery can drain pretty quickly. As far as the design, it's a lot like the Droid 2. On front, you get a 3.7-inch WVGA touchscreen that's nice and sharp. By sliding the display to the right, you get access to the smartphone's full QWERTY keyboard. Uh, unlike the original Droid, Motorola got rid of the D-pad, so it's much more comfortable to hold and use. Uh, the buttons also have a slight bump to them, so they're easier to press. Uh, it's not the best keyboard out there, though. I'd say the Samsung Epic 4G and T-Mobile G2 both have better keyboards, but if you're coming from the Droid, it's definitely an improvement. Currently, Verizon's only other world phone running Android is the Motorola Droid Pro. It has more security features that might attract some enterprise users, but I'd say the Droid 2 Global is the better device overall since you're getting a bigger, sharper screen, a roomier keyboard, and a slightly faster processor. The Motorola Joy 2 Global is available now in either black or white for $199.99 with a two-year contract. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been your first look at the Motorola Joy 2 Global for Verizon Wireless.